It's time. Also, I love that the intro for Skyrim is like almost the perfect length. For the, the things, for the, for the intro. Give me just a moment. Uh. All right, this is going to be a little awkward, but trust me on this. I don't have access to my little phone app anymore since I'm using my phone for a uh, my face tracking. Ah, there it is. <laughs> All right, cool. All right. Damn chair. Ooh, give me a moment. I need to close my door. It's time for a new game. Saturn's being a little silly. My baby boy! You might actually want in now. <laughs> I closed my door, but then my... But now he's angry. Alright, let me go get him. You guys enjoy the... The classic intro. the border, right? Walk right into that Imperial ambush. Same as us. And that thief over there. Damn you Stormcloaks. Come on, Skyrim son. was fine until you came here. The Empire was nice and lazy. They Ooh. hadn't been looking for you. Could have stolen that horse and been halfway to Hammerfell. You, ah! you and me, we should be here. It's these Stormcloaks the Empire wants. We're all Maybe. brothers and sisters in vines now. I have no legs. Shut up back there. What's wrong with him, huh? Watch your tongue. You're speaking to Ulfric Stormcloak, the true High King. Man, my boy now. The Jarl Windhelm? Let me see. You're the leader of the rebellion. No, I won't tap you. out. That would be a bad idea. Hi! Gods, where are they taking us? I'm not tabbing out, man. I like tab out in a minute. I didn't get the comfy. I'll, I'll, I'll bring up his little PNG no, so you guys can see that he's here. Happening. Hey, what village are you from, horse thief? Why do you care? A Nord. Center, please. Just sit down. Rorikstead. I'm. I'm from Rorikstead. Man, this game looks pretty on here. Look at this, look at this sunlight. Good. Let's get this over with. It's nice. Sure, Mara, Debella, Kinnerib, Akatosh, Divines, please help me. God, I can't remember playing this on the PS3 back when I was like 10. Look at him. It did it's not look like this. <laughs> and it looks like the Thalmor are with them. Damn elves. I bet they had something to do with this. I hope you enjoy some Saturn sounds. I apologize for that. Saturn, please. I used to be sweet on a girl from here. Wonder if Vilod is still making that mead with juniper berries in his city. Funny, when I was a boy, imperial walls and towers used to make me feel so safe. Why 
Why are we stopping? Why do you think? End of the line. Now it's time. It's time for the return of Sneep Snorp. Let's go. Shouldn't keep the gods waiting for us. No, wait, we're not rebels. Not really Sneep Snorp, but rather them, his descendant. You've got to tell them. We weren't with you. This is a mistake. Step towards the block when we call your name. One at a time. Empire loves their damn lists. Ulfric Stormcloak, Jarl of Windhelm. It has been an honor, Jarl Ulfric. Vailoff of Riverwood. Shadowrun, what are you doing? Lokir of Rorikstad. No, I'm not a rebel! You can't do this! Halt! He's so happy. Oh, bye bye, dude. Anyone else feel like running? Wait. You there. Step forward. It's time. Who are you? My name is Snip Snurp. Snip Snurp, the uh, fourth, fifth. It's been like two hundred years since the previous game. How many generations would that be? As the original Sneep Snorp was, let's just say, like, late 20s, early 30s or something. Just a, a, a mid-aged adult. And, uh... Let's just say he had to baby after the events. Because, like, that game spells, like, the birth of the fourth era. Hmm... And then it would have Sneep Snorp Jr. I think Sneep Snorp the fifth would be very fitting. Sneep Snorp the fifth, descendant of the legendary Sneep Snorp the first. You know, it's so funny how Oblivion's character creation thing is more expressive, but I always spend more time on Skyrim's. Like, there's, it's more exploitative, but this, and this one's a little more restrictive, but I've always spent more time on this one. Gotta get out those Sneep Snorp genetics. Oh, the colors. Where are these? Also, I don't know why, but the game is super quiet. I'll be fixing that once we get through this. It's like everything else on my computer is like normal volume, but for some reason Skyrim is just like super quiet and I have no idea why. Whoa! <laughs> I always love the goofy ass wide eyes. I keep in those, those are silly.
Hmm. When he have eyebrows? Not yet. We'll decide in a moment. That one's cute. Ah, oh, I love the hair selections in in Skyrim. I love them. They even have feathers. There we go. That looks great. Beep. More. It is. Give me the number or the word. Hold on. That looks more official. We'll stick with the. We'll stick with that. Keep Snorp in the fifth. Are you a relative of one of the? All right. The audio is so quiet. Oh my god, it's maximum, but it's so quiet. I guess I must have turned it down like forever ago. I played a little bit of this back in like September. The display should be. I'll turn on dialogues. Yeah, no, that's only... I only... Mm. Nah. Yeah, dialogue subtitles. General subtitles, no. But dialogue subtitles, yes. I forgot the, those were separate things. Then dock workers are going in. Captain, what should we do? He's not on the list. Forget the list. He goes to the block. No! By your orders, Captain. Do you I'm know sorry. who I am? We'll make sure you remain so returned to Black Marsh. Follow the Captain, prisoner. Disgraceful. I'm the descendant of Snape Snorp, hero of the Oblivion Crisis. How could you? Ulfric Stormcloak. Some here in Helgen call you a hero, but a hero doesn't use a power like the voice to murder his king and usurp his throne. He was he he was roasting you the king so hard he couldn't Skyrim help but fall to his death. The Empire is going to put you down and restore the peace. What was that? It's nothing. Carry on. Yes, General Tullius. Give them their last rites. As we commend your souls to Aetherius, blessings of the Eight Divines upon For the love of Talos, shut up and let's get this over with. As you wish. I wonder what her full voice line is for that, because it gets Come cut off, on. but like, you can tell there's more to it. My ancestors are smiling at me, Imperials. Can you say the same? As fearless in death as he was in life. I want to get to the fun part. No! Here it is again. Did you hear that? I said next prisoner. She called me a lizard. Prisoner, nice and easy.
Ew. Can't she clean it off a little bit first? What do you see? Oh, what do they see? What do you see, lady? Come on. It's right there. I'll do it. Let me go! Let me free! Please! Yeah! Oh, I forgot to put my glasses on today. Can't see. Ah, now I can see. Woo! I even hit the wrong button. I didn't even jump. Yeah, I'm still alive. Gunnar, take care of the boy. I have to find General Tolias and join the defense. I know that in canon, your character gets caught because you're crossing the border. Um, and you just got caught between a rock and a hard place, essentially. <laughs> but I wonder why- I wonder why Steve Snorp the fifth was leaving Cyrodiil. I guess maybe he was just like, fuck this place! Oh, it's the- oh! Oh no! <laughs> That's a wonderful start to such a wonderful game. All right, let's keep going. Oh, I can tell the Steam version of this game, of this game is going to be really fun. Oh, by the way, I always choose Hanwar. I, I I've, I've chosen Rayloff a few times, but there's just... There's just like a, a more benefits from joining Hanwar in the beginning. We should keep moving. Come here. Let me see if I can get those bindings off. He's, he's a little more friendly. There you go. Take a look around. Or at least there should be plenty that's of how I feel. From. He's a little more friendly. See if I, can find something for these bones. I do like I do really like um you get that armor on. Yep. the uh, tutorial in Skyrim compared to Oblivion much better. I like I like Oblivion's thematically, but um in terms of gameplay tutorials, I like Skyrim's a little bit better. Just, just a little bit. <laughs> look at the helmet. I love how goofy so the helmets look whenever you're an Argonian. Sneep Snorp the Fifth. And his new adventure. Do I have boots on? Okay, I do. I think the only thing you can't really find in here is, uh... Gauntlets. The gauntlets. <laughs> Skyrim's intro is more fun to speedrun through, but... Oblivion's intro is more fun to... Like playthrough story-wise. I think it's nice. Hear that? Storm cloaks. Maybe we can reason with them. Maybe. Hold up now. We only want to. If you want to die, so <laughs> ah! I mixed up my left and right for a moment. <laughs> Gloves. Give me my gloves. I want my gloves. Get 
Let's keep moving. Yeah, Harry, let's go. I love that you can just see them there for a moment. Kind of nice. A little attention to detail. Hey, hey, hey! Come on. See? That's what happens when you block. I will get you eventually. Hadvar, I am not listening to you right now. I just killed two people. I do not care about your yapping. Oh man, I remember when I was a little kid and this game like first came out. Um, my vision started to go bad. I was like 10 when this game originally first came out on the PS3. And I remember my vision was starting to go, so I like regularly had to get new glasses because my prescription was deteriorating and all that stuff. But I remember for the longest time, I thought the pheasant said pleasant. I thought it was called a pleasant for a long time. It's the same issue I had with venison. I also I thought it was vention because like I couldn't see it properly. But now I can. I remember it, like the just the general font for Skyrim in general, like whenever it's in all caps, it's a little bit difficult to tell what it says sometimes. And then I feel bad whenever I misread something cuz then I feel like a dummy. Excuse me, but my prescription doesn't change like it used to. Excuse me. So it's not a problem I have to worry about. <sighs> Damn baskets. Aw, oh, Saturn, are you leaving me? Man. Alright, let's go. This way. Yeah, 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 let's go. Yeah, 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 go, go, go. The torture room. God, I wish we didn't need these. <laughs> Wrong button. It was so damn quiet. You fellows happened along just in time. A dragon These boys seemed a bit upset at how I'd been entertaining their comrades. Please, don't make up nonsense. Although, come to think of it, I did hear some odd noises coming from over there. I feel like I feel like I'm dealing with like the quietest. <laughs> people ever. I feel like I'm just in like my regular day-to-day -day life. Everybody's like, oh, I'm just sitting here like, what? What? Can you speak up, please? I certainly will. Yes, I know how to pick locks in this game. It's like the easiest system in all of the Elder Scrolls franchise. Grab what you can and let's go. Works. I just wanted to do that for the points. No way out that way. You know, sometimes there's stuff in these little areas. I 
Here we go. Yeah, that guy just kind of stays here. Where in oblivion are we supposed to go? Where's the way out? Just give me a minute. Let Come me here! I want a bow! Let me through! I'm sick and tired of using this dinky little sword. Shut up. No, you. <laughs> hold on, hold on, <laughs> hold on. Hadvar, you moron! That wasn't Hadvar. Give me your bow. Oh, yes! Finally! Let's get to business. Two bows. Come on, let's see what this goes. Yeah, 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 yeah. Hey, yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's go. Hold on, Saturn wants to get out. Let me let me go get it get him out of here. Yeah, 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 yeah. Come on. <laughs> oh. He's all he's all like, mm, free me, please. I wish to be free. He's such a baby. I love him. He's so silly. He's my silly little guy. One of the three. <laughs> he loves visiting me and then he's all like, Okay, I would like to go now. So good at video games. Look at that. Oh, <laughs> I forgot there were more. That's the end of that. Good for you. What next, giant snakes? Yeah, but like my arrows back, please. Ow. Alright, let's go. On, hurry up. Hey. Hold up. A 
there's a bear just ahead. See her? I'd rather not tangle with her right now. I might be able to sneak by. Just take it nice and slow, and watch where you step. Or if you're feeling lucky, you can take this bow. Yay, I more arrows! Go ahead. I'll follow your lead and watch your way. Night night. What's my difficulty set at? Normally I kill the bear in like... One thing. Okay, it's at adept. You know what, that'll be fine. Skyrim's already inherently an easier game compared to Oblivion, so I'm fine with it being adept. This looks like the way out. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Don't worry, Hedvar, you're in good hands. Because I am Sneep Snarp the Fifth, and no, we will what? not be playing survival mode. I decided that it would be a bit of an annoyance Looks to play like with survival mode. Time, Since normally I like to I like back. to keep things leisurely with a long form right game. The challenges are for the short form games. I wouldn't have made it without your help today. You're right. I helped you live. I'm so good at my job. Listen, you should go to solitude and join up with the Imperial Legion. We could really use someone like you. If the rebels have themselves a dragon, General Tullius is the only one who can stop them. I honestly always forget that you could join one, or one side or the other. I honestly never really do that, but I also never progress far enough into the main story quest to ha make that like an important thing. Who knows? Well, we can, we can come up with that decision later on. Thief. Thief. Always. And forever. These are the Guardian Stones. Three of the thirteen ancient standing stones that dot Skyrim's landscape. That's right, there's thirteen fate, of them. Eh? It's never too late to take charge of your own fate, you know? You're goddamn right! I always take charge in my life. I'm concerned you've already earned your pardon. But until we get that confirmed by General Tullius, just stay clear of other Imperial soldiers and avoid any complications, alright? Dude, they don't give a shit about me. I'm just some guy. As far as they're concerned, I'm just some Argonian guy. Nice. Oh, I pierced his ear. this game and just like with oblivion i've never actually beaten it either but i have seen some of the ending of skyrim <laughs> not all of it though just some of it <laughs> they're so cute What are you doing here? Are you on leave from shores, bones, 
What happened to you, boy? Shh. Are you in Uncle, some kind please. of trouble? Keep your voice down. I'm fine. But we should go inside to talk. Yes. What's going on? And who's this? He's a friend. Saved my life, in fact. Yes. Now I'll explain everything, but we need to go inside. Okay, okay. Come inside, then. Sigrid will get you something to eat. And you can tell me all. Riverwood? If you're looking for work, go see Hot at the Mill. Let's go, munch on some food. Oh, hold on, I'm gonna level up first. Alright, let's see. There's always so many things to choose, but let's stick with light armor first. Sigrid, we have company. Hadvar, we've been so worried about you. Come, you two must be hungry. Sit down and I'll get you something to eat. Now then, boy, what's the big mystery? Blah, blah, Are blah, exposition, blah, blah, blah. blah. An argument with a cave bear. I don't know where to start. You know I was assigned to General Tullius' goal. We were stopped in Helion when we were attacked by a dragon. A dragon? That's ridiculous. You aren't drunk, are you, boy? Husband, let him tell his story. Husband. Not much more Who calls tell. their significant other husband? Like, yes, husband. I don't know if anyone else got Yes, away. wife. I doubt Absolutely. Not no wife, friend. no husband. I like, <laughs> so this is silly. I know what's happened. I thought you could help us out. Food, supplies, a place to stay. Like, if I heard my sister call her husband, husband, then I'd probably be like, Who are you? What have you done with my sister? Like I said, I'm glad to help in any way I can. But I need your help. We need your help. <gasps> Gifts for me! Don't mind if I do! The Jarl needs to know if there's a dragon on the loose. Riverwood is defenseless. We need to get word to Jarl Balgraf in Whiterun to send whatever soldiers he can. If you'll do that for me, I'll be in your debt. Nice. Hey, it's your forge. I see no harm in it, if you have the skill. The grindstone will improve. Yeah. You've got the raw materials. You can use the forge to make something new. How do I get to White Front from Cross here? Cross the river and then head north. You'll see it just past the falls. When you get to White Run, just keep going up. When you get to the top of the hill, you're at Dragon's Reach, the Jarl's Palace. Will you tell me about the Jarl? Jarl Balgraf? He rules Whiterun Hold. A good man, perhaps a bit overcautious, but these are dangerous times. So far, he's managed to stay out of the war. I'm afraid it can't last. A position of neutrality is never really a favorable position to take. Which side in the war does he favor? I don't think he likes either Ulfric or Elisif much. Who can blame him? I need to turn on the music. I can barely hear the dialogue. Why does Steam's version of Skyrim have very poor audio whenever you support the Empire then? Of course. Skyrim has always been part of the Empire. That doesn't mean I support everything the Empire's been doing lately. But Nords have never been fair weather friends. Alright, hold on. <laughs> hold on, dude. Why is the audio so poorly balanced? Yeah, music can be turned out a little bit. Hello. Hello. Next time, Did you really take see what you need, my friend. What did it look like? Who's Elisif? Uh, I forget you're new to Skyrim. Jarl Elisif, I should say. Although only because she was married to Jarl Torig when he was murdered. Ulfric murdered Torig, you know. 
walked right into his palace in solitude and killed him. Shouted him to death, if you believe the stories. That's what started this whole war. The Empire couldn't ignore that. Once the Jarls start killing each other, we're back to the bad old days. What can you tell me about Riverwood? Gerder's family first settled here as woodcutters a few generations ago. She and Hod run the mill. I make a decent living sharpening axes and fixing the sawmill. <laughs> that's a very, a very charged question. What do you think about the war, Alvor? People are rightly stirred up about the damn Talmor being allowed to roam around arresting people. Just for worshipping Talos. But was it worth tearing Skyrim apart and maybe destroying the Empire? No. Ulfric will have a lot to answer for in the end. Nords have always supported the Empire. And the Empire has always been good for Skyrim. Both extremes are bad. Hello! Why are the Samur allowed to arrest people for worshipping Talos? It's from that treaty that ended the Great War, remember? Yeah! I have a life 2D model now! To outlaw Talos worship. We didn't pay much attention to it when I was a boy. Everyone still had their little shrine to Talos. But then, Ulfric and his sons of Skyrim started agitating about it. Sure enough, the Emperor had to crack down. Dragging people off in the middle of the night. One of the main causes of this war, if you ask me. Damn, that sucks. Well, I'd better get back to work. You two make yourselves at home. <gasps> Money for me! Thanks. It's nice to be back in a friendly spot, huh? Listen, I'm going to lay up here for a while. You can make your own way to solitude from here. Yeah. I'd recommend heading to White Did you really Run, see just a down dragon? the road from here. From there, you can take a carriage to solitude. Uh huh. Yeah. Got it. Papa says I'm too friendly to strangers, but you seem all right. I like free stuff. Who doesn't like free stuff? Let's do the tutorial stuff. Maybe where did where is where is Alvor? I am an Argonian. I am the descendant of our guy from from our Oblivion playthrough. His name is Sneep Snorp the Fifth. Take what you need, my friend. Reason, of course. Alvor, perfect you timing. Watch over your battles, friend. Like I said. Yeah, I don't need any supplies. I... I think I can talk to him once he starts doing stuff. Whatever you need. Buy a smear if it's simple and strong. I can forge it. You looking for a new blade? All right, then. Ironers, I could forge you a war hammer. Yeah, there we go. Need any help hit. around the forge? Yes, actually. How about you smith me an iron dagger? Here's everything you need to make one. Go ahead. Sweet. All right then. Dagger. That's a decent weapon you've made. You the sneaky type? I a dagger. Bad, but it's a little dull. How about you sharpen it up? Just need a bit of metal and the grindstone over there. Good day. Grindstone. Alright. Alright, what's next, boss? Hi. This looks good. You put time into your blades. They'll serve you well when you need them. You want to keep helping? How about you make some armor? Let's start by tanning some leather on the rack. Aye. All right. Hmm. 
There we go. Take whatever you need. Leather. Ah, good. A lot of weapons and armor need left. Let's see if you can make a hide, hide helmet. helmet. Here's the rest of what you need. Yippee! I want to make some leather armor. How much leather? Alright, I can worry about the bracers and helmet later. You looking iron or steel? Here's that helmet. I should hire you to be my assistant at this rate. Let's improve the fit. Take this leather to the workbench over there. I hate. I. Here we go. You the sneaky type? You have talent. Keep working at your craft, and you'll be a fine smith one day. Yeah! Why don't you keep that dagger and helmet? Maybe you'll remember me when you're making Skyforge steel, huh? <gasps> Ooh, that would be nice. What you got for the sale? Weapons and armor. Might buy his ingots and stuff. Maybe. He does have a lot of a lot of decent stuff for sale. <laughs> I forgot my name is Snoopstorp the Fifth. All right. Hold on. Hi. I have to get used to using a controller again. This, this is something I am not used to. So I can sell all of these and... Um, do I have two bows? I do have two bows. I'm gonna keep the, the dagger though. Need something? Hmm. Blades, helmets... Pretty much anything to suit your needs. Here we go. Give me your stuff. I think I might just. No, uh, his miscellaneous. <laughs> uh. I didn't realize how expensive leather was going to be. <laughs> I'll get that. Uh, ooh, he does have a better bow available, but that's expensive. Uh, yeah, these are the two. No, these two are the ones I'm missing. But damn. Damn. Let's see what I, I can make. I can make both. Perfect. Yeah. There we go. Full set. Full set. Full set. Full set. All right. What you need, my friend? Within reason, of course. All right. Yeah, right now I'm just doing what I usually do. I want to go up to Bleak Falls Barrow and then come back. Who doesn't? Who doesn't go to Bleak Falls Barrow first and foremost? Like you look up and what? Like whenever you exit, um, Elgin, you see all that over there, and it's like, holy shit, what's that? I want to go. I want to go see that. That's what I'm gonna do. You know, one thing we won't really do, at least for quite some time, is we, we're not going to be looking at the map. Because, um, even though I'm not in survival mode, I would like to, um, play without fast traveling, at least for a little while. Because I think it would be fun.
Yeah, it's interesting that even though um, the Septim family is long gone now, um, it really does feel like so mean to outlaw the worship of Talos. Like, like that just feels personal, you know. Like, why would they do that? I see you over there. No! Oh, I missed. I also have such a bad habit of overshooting. I aim a little too high sometimes. You're shooting- <laughs> you're wasting all your arrows, and so am I! Ooh. Oh, wait, hold on. Oh, I'm not out of errors. I just wasn't. Just ow. Like a bee sting. Where are you? Where are you? Where are you? Where'd you go? Hi. Shit. <laughs> ow. You know what? Hold on. Okay, come here. Come here. Don't be racist! Give me your bow. Ooh, it's a lot of arrows. Where'd the other guy go? Nibble, nibble. Oh. Hi. I'm more back off. Huh? <laughs> <laughs> you don't scare me. Let's see. I honestly forgot that there was a third person in here. Then I was like, wait a minute. What if there is another person? And I was right on my suspicions. Lake Falls Barrow. Lake Falls Barrow. Besides, it's good to come here early anyway, because we have to come here for the main quest anyway. There's like two quests that are connected to this place. So I may as well just stop by here while I'm in the area. Ooh. 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 Ah! I forgot what it's like to be low level and be really bad at hiding. Oh, I did it! I got him! I'm a snipper! 
It's too high. <laughs> wow! Ouch! Nice hair. Yeah. <gasps> Please. Get him. Yeah. Oh, shit. Damn. Got him right in the eye. Right in the face. My goodness. Dang, dude. <laughs> Is there anybody else up here? I don't think so. No. I can just straight up see them from here. Eehehe. <laughs> Oh, he missed. Ow. I am a better archer than you. Na 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 boo boo. Man, they killed a bunch of skeevers. Man, I know I keep being quiet, but like, the <laughs> this game looks really, really nice on Steam. Like, it's really pretty on here. <laughs> But this is like the um, ultimate edition or whatever. So of course it looks like super pretty compared to the original. I just I just can't help but just stare and look at it and and, and enjoy all of the pretty visuals and how much this game has been tweaked and upgraded and made all nice and pretty. Nice, I like it. Do the thing, do the thing, do the thing. <laughs> Who just flips a switch willy nilly? in an ancient burrow without even like taking a moment to look at your surroundings. I know I wouldn't, no matter how impulsive I may be sometimes. Hmm. 
may be a little bit impulsive, but I ain't stupid. Oh yeah, level up. Alright, um... I didn't mean to do that. Do the zoom. Okay, that requires 30. I'm going to do the pickpocket one because I need to start upgrading that right now. Ahead of time. There's so many choices! So many choices, so little so little level ups. So little upgrades. So many choices, so little upgrades. Where are they? Where are they? There they are. Keepers! Oh. 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 <laughs> Dang! So much level increase and for what? Ooh. Time to do my regular, regularly scheduled alchemy taste test. hate this guy. Big brute, I'm gonna kick your ass. Oh, there we go, nice. Shut up, shut up, give me a moment. <laughs> Where is it? Hand it over. Does it look like I can move? You have to cut me down first. Fine. Fine. I'll do it. I'm gonna whoop your ass, though. It's coming loose. I can feel it. Oh, Why should I? You think I'd fall for your paltry tricks? No. There you go. Arrow in the back. Fuck you. L plus ratio plus now you have two arrows in you. Bye!
leave me. Yo! Oh, I missed. Oh, yeah! I remember learning how that works. And I learned how to zoom in by hitting L3. Gotcha. Oh, no! Let's look at that, actually. Let's see. Should be... No. It's keys, no key items. Wait, hold on. Is it different? Oh, it's R3. Yeah! Bear moth owl. Oop. Hello. Ah. Ah. Hey. You're not dead. You're a liar! I know what you are. Leveled up again. I missed. The thing about the arrows in this game is that they go like slightly above the crosshair whenever you're like a little bit close. Ow. 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 Die. Die. Well, I know what I'm picking. Right. Ah, there we go. Oh, my footsteps are quieter too. That's nice. I missed! Like, my level progress increases so much when it's archery. Oh, what did I just take? Did I just take a shield? What did I just take? I just take something. Hold on. Or am I seeing things? I might just be dumb. Hold on. Eh, it's fine. Whatever. I may have taken a weapon, actually. It was zoned out for just a moment. Let me just drop that. I'm gonna take this bow though, because I'm pretty certain that it's... Yeah, it's better. I remember using like a bajillion ancient ancient Nord arrows for like forever. Can I sprint again? Because it's not that. Okay, it's that button. No, it isn't. Button is the sprint button. Can't remember. Hmm. 
I don't remember which button was the sprint. I don't remember what the sprint button is. I did wrong thing. It is LB. It wasn't working before. There we go. I knew what it was and it lied to me. There we go. It's so nice to play this game with a controller. I loved Oblivion, but it kind of sucked that it wasn't compatible with my controller. I use a Steel Series, and it works with most games. But every once in a while, I'll come across a game on Steam where it's just like, "Uh-uh, nope, not gonna work with you. I don't like, I don't like your vibes." You must use controller. <laughs> or not controller, you must use keyboard. Your vibes are rank. Go back to keyboard. Cause like, Oblivion on Steam does have, um... It has like, controller settings. In game. But for some reason it just doesn't work with my controller. And, um, another game that I really love, Hard Space Shipbreaker, it ha it technically has, um, controller support, but it doesn't like my controller. <laughs> so I wasn't able to do anything whenever, um, I tried to play with my controller. Like, the, the turning and stuff wouldn't work properly. So I switched to keyboard. And you know what? Games like that, it's better to use keyboard. Sometimes, not being able to use your preferred method of control is better. Oh, actually, hold on, I just remembered. I wanna do the funny thing. There she is. Oh shit. No, lady, no. Aha, I got you. Hee <laughs> hee. Oh. Ah, come on.
I, you know, I forgot how quickly you level up in this game. I'm already almost level four. Like, <laughs> like I have a feeling that, um, by the time next week comes around, we'll be close to like level 15. Is this the right way? I might be backtracking on accident. I think I'm backtracking. Yeah, I'm backtracking. Give it to me. I would like more ingredients, please. Please. Thank you. All right. Come here, dude. There we go. I'm good at lock picking, I promise. Man. Honestly, can you imagine like if if like I don't even know um can you imagine if I still had my own graphics card when we started this? Like I don't even think my computer would have ran. I think my my PC would have been like Ew No <laughs> No I think it, it may have like partially been like Oh, I can run it, but like at the lowest graphic settings, maybe. My old 980 Ti. Well, I don't know. That graphics card did surprise me a few times, cause like, I know some people have been like, "Wow, you used a 980 Ti? That's old." But like, Honestly, it runs a 980 Ti. It it might be old, but like it does run pretty well. But I have a 4070. Yeah. Ow. So that's not really a problem I have to worry about. Yeah. No, next level. Level five. Ooh, we need to level up archery. I did it too early. No, they're not gonna get burned. That guy might get burned a little bit. Yay! I was just standing there. What an idiot. <laughs> yeah. Oh. It's so silly when that happens. I love it. I love that. It's just like, ah, oh, you're gonna get a nice fancy cutscene. Oh, just kidding. <laughs> you missed Bozo.
excuse me. Some of my favorite improvements. <clears throat> excuse me. Between Oblivion and Skyrim are um, you can do that, which is nice. I like that a lot. <laughs> Being able to just go like, fuck you, <laughs> back off. I like that. I like that you can run. Um, they kept the rolling, but um, that's only for when you're sneaking, and it just it just um, works as like a substitute for sprinting, but whenever you're sneaking. And then I also um, I actually um, really like how when you zoom in when shooting. Um, it uses your stamina. Like, stamina is much more of, like, a dynamic thing instead of, like, Oh, this exists, I guess. Like, it's, it's nice. Makes it feel more dynamic. Like an active thing you have to be concerned about instead of just being like, Oh, it's there! Yeah, that's a thing. I guess you're doing less damage. Or whatever. But like, there's no like active impairment to your, um... To your actions. It's just nice. Oh, it's changed. Cause like, I know some people would consider, like, using up your stamina, stamina when zoomed in to be like a, a kind of shitty thing compared to like, just being able to keep it zoomed in forever. But, nah, I think it's nice. Makes it more engaging. Screamed at. Ah! Oh, I missed. Ooh. Ah! Uh oh. Yeah, 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 whatever. Shut up. Don't wave your battle axe at me. <laughs> There we go. That's what you get. Ooh, actually, no, I should keep that. Oof. That guy did a number on me, though. There's some nice stuff in here. Also... I don't have any reason to keep this, but I'll, I'll, I'll sell it once we get back to... Riverwood. little shrine. There's like zero context behind it or what exactly it's for, but it's pretty and I like it. It's, well, I'm certain that it's like a burial shrine of some sort, but like, why is it here? <laughs> so interesting. Yeah. Look 
at that. This game's so dang pretty. Can't help but just like it like there's nothing going on in my head. I'm no thoughts head empty except for it just like man, this game's pretty. Hello, little old lady. I'm just a poor old woman, dear. No need to trouble yourself with me. Yeah, she's just here. Hi. Alchemy. You know, normally I like raid her basement and then kill her, but uh, not this time. No, we'll be nice this time. Like it's only fair. You know, I know a lot of people complain about the fact that Skyrim gets released like constantly and like has like all these updates even like over a decade later. But, um,. But, um, honestly, if Skyrim was only released, like, once or twice, then, like, um, I'm pretty sure that the general, like, hype for Elder Scrolls 6 wouldn't be so strong. Like, there wouldn't be as much, like, there wouldn't be as much attention on the Elder Scrolls series if, if, uh, Skyrim didn't get re-released sometimes. And like, get yeah, updates even now. And uh, I know Elder Scrolls Online exists, but since it had such a terrible introduction, that kind of killed like any sort of like real big traction it had. And besides, well, MMOs. I, to do something. I said no. No adventures, no theatrics. MMOs no in general, adventures. like, they only have like their specific audience. Huh? And then, like, most yeah, other people are just like, meh, this. it's whatever, yeah. it's online, Customer. there are people, I want a single player game. Or, like, local multiplayer game. Those those are usually the more popular ones. Well, I don't know what you overheard, but the Riverwood Trader is still open. Feel free to shop. Is something happening? Uh, yeah, we, we did have a, a bit of a, a break-in, but we, we still have plenty to sell. Robbers were only after one thing. An ornament. Is Solid this your one thing, dragon. sir? Do you mean this golden claw? You found it! <laughs> there it is! Strange. It, it seems smaller than I remember. <laughs> Funny thing, huh? I'm gonna put this back where it belongs. I'll, I'll never forget this. You've done a great thing for me and my sister. You know, speaking of Elder Scrolls Online, I think it would be nice to play it on stream. I have played a little bit of it on my own, um, but I'm not a really big fan of games that are online like that. But I think if I played it like on stream at some distant point in time, I think maybe that would be alright. I think maybe that would be fun. I'm very much a big fan of of Thank the Elder so Scrolls franchise. I kind of sort of wanted to become part of my whole thing. Like, these are the games that I like to play. We got for sale. Some may call this junk. Me, I call them treasures. I call them treasures. Oh, I got a lot of money. Oh. <sighs> 
I want that. But I'm, I, I'm too broke. I wonder if there is a big ESO scene on Twitch. I had to look into that. And by big, I mean like maybe like a thousand or so. Maybe like a hundred streamers. I don't know. Maybe. But I don't actually know how many people stream on Twitch. Me and look into that. I think it will be interesting. Snip Snorp the fifth. Only 44? It's like you hand someone like some really nice, um, some really nice handcrafted blade and they're just like, mmm, $44. Give or take. $44. I ain't budging. That is my price. $44 for this blade that you made by hand. Like, can you imagine, like, showing someone some really cool thing you found, some ancient artifact, and they're just like, nah, I think the value is like $44. Bullshit. I call bullshit. I do need to increase my speech. I need to, I need to like, just try to increase my speech because, like, I want to be able to buy stuff for cheap and sell, sell stuff for, for pricey. Take that book. <gasps> there you go. Get me mad, and I'll prank you, and not a little, a lot. Did you really see? Shut that? up. <laughs> Gorgnar, are you listening? Hard not to. The ale is going bad. We need to get a new batch. I forgot how much I dislike the children in this game. Do you hear me? Yep, ale's going bad. That's all I wanted. Yeah, what of it? Papa's isn't too. That's what I thought. All right, let's head out to White Run. And there's a bunch of other stuff to do. You know, I like that the first couple games I picked to return with are controller friendly. Cause like, that didn't work out in my favor. Because, um, I had been drawing so much stuff and controllers are a little bit easier on my 
on my hands and my wrists. I don't deal with any wrist problems, but I am susceptible to um, straining them pretty easily. Another wolf. Woof. 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 Hold on, come here. Oh, you're just gonna run? You coward! Come here. Come here. That's what I thought. Oh, come here. Oh, I was talking about my wrists and how annoying they can be sometimes. Like just mild inconveniences with with um how annoying they are sometimes. Hi. Stay away if I were you. Why? I'm on my way to a giant camp, and I can't guarantee those beasts won't think you're part of the offering. Keep your distance, and you shouldn't have anything to worry about. I love the cows in this game! Look at that thing! Isn't she cute? Look at you! You look like a highland cow. You're so adorable. Good luck! Thanks. You take care of yourself now. Bye-bye! I know that cow's gonna die, but like, that's a really cute cow. Back on the topic of me not being able to read shit when I first played this game, I remember thinking that said like honey brew meter metery, which isn't far off from like the fact that it has honey in it. Mead Giant. They don't need my help. Yeah. Must have scared him off. Hi. Where's your leader? There she is. <laughs> well, that's taken care of. No thanks to you. you. Didn't look like you needed help. Certainly not. But a true warrior would have relished the opportunity to take on a giant. Yeah. That's why I'm here with my shield brothers. What's a shield, brother? An outsider, eh? Never heard of the companions? An order of warriors. We are brothers and sisters in honor. And we show up to solve problems if the coin is good enough. Can I join you? Not for me to say. You'll have to talk to Codlack Whitemane up in Gravaskar. The old man's got a good sense for people. He can look in your eyes and tell your worth. If you go to him, good luck. Aight. Yeah, we won't be doing that for a while. I do not particularly care about that quest line. I'm not even gonna lie. I find it to be quite boring. And I believe you have to travel really far. I love Rissad. Heard you've been running into trouble along the road. It is all in this note. Ooh. 
I'm curious about your homeland. The Khajiit hail from a distant land called Elsewhere, bordered on the north by Cyrodiil, and the south by the glistening blue waters of the sea. Elsewhere is an arid land of deserts and rocky canyons, where the sun shines warmly, always. There are cities so ancient, the sands have swallowed them whole. But now I will say no more, for I miss my home greatly. Why sell your your Why sell your goods in Skyrim? An astute question, for we are far from home. And this is a cold, hard land. The wise trader finds the best opportunities, even if he must travel far to find them. Skyrim is a ripe opportunity indeed. The dragons and the war have scared many other traders away, but for those with courage, there is much profit to be made. No, oh, excuse me. What have you got for sale? Hello. I'll be taking that. Thank you. I'll take that too. Hmm. Ink. I'll take those. Take some of those. Starting our long journey of many things. Rubrush. What are, what are rubrushes? Hey! Is this about is this about the shivering isles? Mm. Oh, that is an expensive ring. You know, it's interesting that um, the Khajiit come from elsewhere, which is known as a desert land. But ever since Skyrim, they all look more like colder climate cats. Like, like Rissad here, he looks like a bobcat, and bobcats live in like tundras and stuff. Like, <laughs> lead you to warm sands. there's a chance that like some of them like kind of adapted a little bit to the colder climate because I know some some species of like real life animals sometimes do that where they just kind of um oh, I don't have a woodcutter's axe some uh I know some uh animals in real life they sometimes like change a little bit when introduced to a new environment the most like the most notorious example i can think of is like like pigs like you like you let a pig out into the wilderness and they're gonna start growing like they're gonna start like growing more fur and tusks and just basically turn into like a, a like wild hog essentially it's interesting river wood wait hold on actually i know it's from helgen about the dragon attack fine but we'll be keeping an eye on you yes yes i know how to speak you know what i want to try before we go up to dragon's reach i want to try um i want to try the uh if you if you know you know if you don't you'll see no way no way i'm getting it first try am i too big Did they, did they, did they patch it out? They patch out the fun clip. Hold on. No, they didn't. <laughs> Are you free? We might have to fast travel 
because of this though. I know that like you, if you come to the door, you could like click on it and go back and fix everything. But like, <laughs> let's go find the secret chests. It might also just pop right back in a white run, but like. I just wanted to do the fun clip. I remember my dad teaching me about this. Oh. I might need to pay attention to like how how my boy moves around. No. Cause like Basically, moving around blind out here. Ooh. I think it's so funny how there's all this collision down here as well. Like, you, you can never fall out of the world. I wonder why. But I'm hoping we can find at least one of the secret chests, because that would be really fun. They not have the secret chests in the Steam version. Did I do this for nothing? Or am I just in the wrong area? Because there's gotta be a way to get down to the lower area. Hmm. I know your family's honor is important to you, but we can't afford it. It took me weeks to find that thief's dead. I can't stop now, and I can't get the sword on my own. So you're willing to starve your wife and daughter to reclaim some rusty old sword? I just need to hire one, maybe two good men. You won't starve. I'll put it plainly. You can claim your sword, or you can keep your wife. If you set foot outside that gate, I will Where is it? I can't even go out of my way to look it up if I don't find it. Damn, someone's dealing with their marital problems and here I am underneath the earth <laughs> looking for loot. <laughs> oh. Oh. I wish my sneak went up while I was doing this, but it hasn't done that at all. Makes me a little sad. Ha! They can barely tolerate our presence on Earth! Today, they take away your faith. But what of tomorrow? What oh. then? No, I'm gonna Do clip back in. I don't wanna clip back in. No! Businesses? No! Now I've made a mistake. And what does the Empire do? Nothing. Nay, worse than nothing. The Imperial machine imposes Shit. the will of the Dalmor against its own people. So rise up. Rise up, children well. of the Empire. Damn. Rise up, Maybe we could try again later. Embrace the word of mighty Dalos. He who is both man and divine. You have come. You have come. I was Talos Worship Outlawed. The so-called emperor is a coward. 
That's right. I said coward. One more tea. Oh, yes. He agreed to banish the worship of Talos at the tip of an Aldmeri sword. They called it the White Gold Concordant. Well, I call it blasphemy. A true son of the Empire would never have turned his back on our greatest hero. Not at any price. Well, let me tell you something, friend. Cyrodiil is a long way from here. No, it isn't. Skyrim, we will it's right down the road. Mighty Talos. I came from there. Aren't you worried you'll be arrested? <laughs> Let them come. I have no fear. For Talos is my ally. And I am his prophet. His word is upon my lips. His voice in my throat. What can you tell me about Talos? Hello, my friend. If you seek knowledge about mighty we like Talos, Talos. You his his little his little um, right charm ability is life. objectively superior Talos because it lowers the cooldown of shouts. Of How could you not like Talos? Limitless wisdom and the power to see into men's hearts. Talos mastered the power of the voice. The and with it, he united the lands of men into a great empire. In southern lands, he was known by the name Tiber Septim. Here in Skyrim, we honor him by his proper Nord name. So great was his reign in life. When he ascended to the heavens, he was made Lord of the Divines. If you want to know more, I'm sure you can find any number of tomes on the subject. You know, he says that, like, the southern lands call him Tiber Septum, but he's only called Talos in Skyrim. But, like, depending on, like, which version and, like, what the time period was, like, usually people down south referred to him by both titles. Like, referring to the divine, they call him Talos, and then referring to the man, they call him Tiber Septum. It's just more common for them to call him Tiber Septim down, down south. Damn folks down south. I think there's like five or six quests we can snatch up right now. So let's go talk to Mr. Jarl up here first. Actually, hold on. We need barnacles down there. Barnacles. There's just a skeleton down here. I feel like just nobody knows that there's just a skeleton floating in the waters below Dragon's Reach. Why can't I get there? How'd nobody notice? Like, there must have been a body just like rotting in the waters. They were just like, meh, whatever. Who cares? Hey, dude! What do you want? What's the meaning of this interruption? Jarl Balgruf is not receiving visitors. I have news from Helgen about the dragon attack. Well, that explains why the guards let you in. Come on then, the Jarl will want to speak to you personally. Yes. Hi. So, you were at Helgen. You saw this dragon with your own eyes? Yep. I had a great view while the Imperials were trying to cut off my head. Really? You're certainly forthright about your criminal past. But it's none of my concern who the Imperials want to execute. Especially now. What I want to know is, what exactly happened at Helgen? The dragons destroyed Helgen and last I saw it was heading this way. Why? Mere Irileth was right. What do you say now, Proventus? 
Shall we continue to trust in the strength of our walls against the dragon? My lord, we should send troops to Riverwood at once. It's in the most immediate danger. If that dragon is lurking in the mountains... That is a provocation. He'll assume we're preparing to join Ulfric's side and attack him. We should Enough. not... I'll not stand idly by while a dragon burns my hold and slaughters my people. Irileth, send a detachment to Riverwood at once. Yeah. Yes, if you'll excuse me, I'll return to my duties. That would be best. Well done. You sought me out on your own initiative. You've done Whiterun a service, and I won't forget it. Here, take this as a small token of my esteem. There is another thing you could do for me. Yeah, 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 yeah. Suitable for someone of your particular talents, perhaps. Let's go talk Come, to Faringar. Let's go find Faringar, my court wizard. He's been looking into a matter related to these dragons and rumors of dragons. Let's go. All this standing around is rubbish. We should be taken to fight the storm folks. Hey! Come to Dragon's Reach to discuss the ongoing hostilities, like the rest of the great warriors. The, what? <laughs> the Jarl said you had a project you needed help with. Hmm? What? Project? You think you could help me? I really don't think so. Never mind. I'll wait for Jarl Bogruff. The Jarl can be found in the Great Hall, probably sitting on his Jarl's throne. Not over here in a wizard's laboratory. Faringar, I think I found someone who can help you with your dragon project. <laughs> Wait, he's getting around like that. With all the details. So the Earl thinks you can be of use to me. Oh yes, he must be referring to my research into the dragons. <sighs> this yes, guy, I swear. I someone to fetch something for me. Well, when I say fetch, I really mean delve into a dangerous ruin in search of an ancient stone tablet that may or may not actually be there. Oh, you mean this stone tablet? All right, where am I going? What am I fetching? Straight to the point, eh? No need for tedious hows and whys. I like that. Leave those details to your betters, am I right? I uh, learned of a certain stone tablet said to be housed in Bleak Falls Barrow. A dragon stone said to contain a map of dragon burial sites. Go to Bleak Falls Barrow, find this tablet, no doubt interred in the main chamber, and bring it to me. Simplicity itself. Oh, you mean this on stone? <laughs> ah, the dragon stone of Bleak Falls Barrow. You already found it. You are cut from a different cloth than the usual brutes the Jarl foists on me. I ain't no brute. What you, dragon stone? What's next? That is where your job ends and mine begins. The work of the mind, sadly undervalued in Skyrim. <laughs> Even though you guys have one of the greatest magic schools. In Tabriel. Farangar, you need to come at once. Oh? A dragon's been sighted nearby. Oh! You should come too. A dragon? How exciting. Where was it seen? What, what was it doing? I'd take this a bit more seriously if I were you. If a dragon just wants to attack Whiterun, I don't know if we can stop it. Let's go. Oh. Dragon time! Hand that tells me you but came from the dragons. Western Watchtower? Yes, my lord. Tell him what you told me about the dragon. Oh. <laughs> oh, that's right. We saw it coming from the Why didn't you, <laughs> why didn't you teleport? What did it do? Is it attacking the Watchtower? No, my lord. It was just circling overhead when I left. I never ran what? so fast in my life. <laughs> Why did you keep teleporting? All this standing around is Good rubbish. Work, son. We should be taking we'll the fight from the storm cloaks. Head down to the barracks for some food and rest. You've earned it. Irleth, you'd better gather some stuff. <laughs> he keeps teleporting. Back. I've already ordered my own stupid to game. The main gate. Good. Don't fail me. There's no time to stand on ceremony, my friend. I need your help again. Yeah, 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 whatever. I want you to go with Irileth and help her fight this dragon. You survived Helgen. 
So you have more experience with dragons than anyone else here. But I haven't forgotten the service you did for me in retrieving the dragon stone for Faringar. As a token of my esteem, I have instructed Avenici that you are now permitted to purchase property in the city. And please, accept this gift from my personal armory. Second gift. I would very much like to see this Ooh, I need to deconstruct no, that. I can't afford to risk both of you. I need you here working on ways to defend the city against these dragons. As you command. One last thing, Irela. This isn't a death or glory mission. I need to know what we're dealing with. Don't worry, my lord. I'm the very soul of caution. Lord, I want to... Take down all these locations. Oh, extend. That's where that one guy came from. Ragstead. Oh. Hee <laughs> hee. All this standing around is rubbish. You should be taking the fight to the storm clothes. All you're doing is standing around. What are you talking about? Let's go! Time to... Time Old to friend. kick some Patriot dragon butt. The gods in Dragon Reach say you've aided the yard on behalf of White Blood. Thank you. Let's go! I work with my mother. So I see my selection of the finest qualities. Let's go! It's time to go! There's the tower right there. Yeah, I can't believe I'm already level 5. I know that, like, as the game progresses, it takes longer to level up, but, like, I'm still leveling up faster than than how fast you level up in Oblivion. I think I was like level 33 or 34 whenever we finished our playthrough. But I'm sure we'll be like in the 50s or even the 60s whenever um, we wrap up this game. I have no idea how long I'll be playing Skyrim for. A while, definitely. Butterflies! Tor just got grabbed when they tried to make a run for it. Where is it? Kidret, save us. Here he comes again. Where is he? Where is he? Ah! Hello, save us. It's a dragon. Yes, that is exactly what it is. Get down here. Come on, I want to fight too. Get down here. Oh, 
no! Damn. Kick your ass! Damn, look at you. You're just absolutely drenched in blood. Whoop. feel like dying today so it could be just a moment what is that oh he's dead now ah there we go hmm <laughs> it's just a whole like right wing garden here Delicious. He is here. Who's? Who's? Yay! You look goofy as hell, dude. Dragonborn. Dragonborn, what do you mean? In the very oldest tales, back from when there were still dragons in Skyrim, the Dragonborn would slay dragons and steal their power. That's what you did, isn't it? Absorb the dragon's power. I didn't know what happened to me. There's only one way to find out. Try to shout. That would prove. According to the old legends, only the Dragonborn can shout without training, the way the dragons do. Dragonborn? What are you talking about? That's right. My grandfather used to tell stories about the dragonborn. Those born with the dragon blood in them. Like old Tiber Septim said. I've never heard of Tiber Septim killing any dragons. There weren't any dragons then, idiot. They're just <laughs> coming back now for the first time in forever. But the old tales tell of the dragonborn who can kill dragons and steal their power. You must be one. What you say you left? Being awfully quiet. Come on, here. Tell us, do you believe in this dragonborn business? <laughs> Some of you would be better off keeping quiet than flapping your gums on matters you don't know anything about. Here's a dead dragon, and that's something I definitely understand. Now we know we can kill them, but I don't need some mythical dragonborn. Someone who can put down a dragon is more than enough for me. You wouldn't understand, Housecar. You ain't a norm. <laughs> all across Tamriel, I've seen plenty of things just as outlandish as this. I'd advise you all to trust in the strength of your sword arm. Over I'm gonna wait for them to finish talking and then I'll, if you really then are I'll do it. Born, like out of the old tales, you ought to be able to shout. Can you? Have you tried? Oh, <laughs> shouting! What you just That's did! Shout. Must like the great <laughs> dragon boy. Yes! Do you believe them now? Even less, do you believe them now? I feel like it's fitting for the Dragonborn to be an Argonian. Cause like... Look at my face. Look at my face. And then look at a dragon's face. I mean literally in D&D &D, there's a race called Dragonborns. And, and they look... They're lizards. They're lizards. I wish they had tails though. I, when I found out that they don't have tails in canon, I was so upset. Like, what do you mean they're lizards, but they don't have tails? Why would you take that from me? 
I'm so, I'm so sad about that. Yeah, I remember making a dragonborn character one time and then my dad was like, Oh, by the way, they don't have tails. And I was like, oh, What? You mean to tell me? <laughs> you mean to tell me that, that my guy doesn't have a tail? Man, I was so sad about that. Dragonborns will always have tails in my heart. In my heart of hearts, they will always have tails. A lizard without a tail is like an angel without wings. It just isn't right. Besides, I don't think there's any species of lizard in real life that don't have tails. I'm pretty sure they all do. I did. We're causing no trouble. All we ask is to look for her. I don't care what you're doing. After what happened, you're lucky I don't toss you in jail. Now get lost. We will be back. This is not over. You there. We're looking for someone in White Run. We will pay good money for information. Really? Who are you looking for? A woman. A foreigner in these lands. Redguard, like us. She is likely not using her true name. We will pay for any information regarding her location. We are not welcome here in White Rock. So we will be in Rorikstead if you learn anything. Are you looking for this person? It's none of your concern. All you need to know is that we're paying for information. If that doesn't interest you, Feel free to walk away. Who are you looking for? We're looking for a fugitive who comes from Hammerfell. A red guard woman. She may be somewhere in this city. She cannot hide from us forever. Yeah, I'll do that later. Later. Me and my old habits of picking up every plant that I can come across. I do you believe munching on things does very slowly and incrementally raise your uh, alchemy skill? Just a little bit. Ooh! <laughs> oh, this will be funny. This will be good. Cork bulbs are good for arrows. I've used some cork bulb arrows before and they're pretty good. I have like most of the, the ingredients I find like poison related things. <laughs> Imagine just like minding your own business and then you just randomly see a guy on the street just go like <gasps> and then fall over. <laughs> And then he gets back up like nothing happened. <laughs> and then here you find out that this man that just suddenly like froze up and fell over is actually a celebrity. <laughs> I just think it's funny. Good, you're finally here. The Jarl's been waiting for you. Yeah, I'm sure he has been. You heard the summons. What else could it mean? The Greybeards. The Greybeards. Just talking about you. My brother needs a word with you. So what happened at the Watchtower? Was the dragon there? The Watchtower was destroyed, but we killed the dragon. I knew I could count on Irileth. But there must be more to it than that. Turns out, I might be something called Dragonborn. Dragonborn? What do you know about the Dragonborn? <laughs> when the dragon died, I absorbed some kind of power from it. So it's true. The Greybeards really were summoning you. 
Graybeards. Masters of the way of the voice. They live in seclusion high on the slopes of the throat of the world. What do these Graybeards want with me? The Dragonborn is said to be uniquely gifted in the voice. The ability to focus your vital essence into a thune or shout. Oh. If you really are Dragonborn, oh. they can teach oh. you how to use your gift. Oh. Didn't you hear oh. the thundering sound as you returned to Whiterun? That was the voice of the Greybeards, summoning you to High Rothgar. Oh. This hasn't happened in oh. centuries, at least. Not since oh. Tiber Septim himself was summoned when he was still Talos of Atmora. Oh. Rungar, calm yourself. Oh. What does any of this Nord nonsense have to do with our friend here? Capable as he may be, oh. I don't see any signs of him being this, what, dragonborn. <laughs> Nord nonsense. Why, you puffed up ignorant. These are our sacred traditions that go back to the founding of the First Empire. Prongar, don't be so hard on Avenici. I meant no disrespect, of course. It's just that, what do these Greybeards want with him? That's the Greybeards' business, not ours. Whatever happened when you killed that dragon, it revealed something in you. And the Greybeards heard it. If they think you're Dragonborn, who are we to argue? Mm. You better get up to High Hrothgar immediately. Mm. There is no refusing the summons mm. of the Greybeards. It's a tremendous honor. I envy <laughs> you, you know, to climb the 7,000 steps again. I made the pilgrimage once. Did you know that? Really? High Hrothgar is a very peaceful place. Very. Yarrowbogger talks a lot. <laughs> the troubles of this world. I wonder that the Greybeards even notice what's going on down here. Mm. They haven't seemed to care before. Sorry, I keep saying Thum because. Um, High Hrothgar. My lip sync. You look nice. You. You've done a great service for me and my city, Dragonborn. By my right is Yarl. I name you Thane of White Run. It's the greatest honor that's within my power to grant. Really? I assign you Lydia as a personal house carl. Mm. And this weapon from my armory to serve as your badge of office. I'll also notify my guards of your new title. Wouldn't want them to think you're part of the common rabble, now would we? We are honored to have you I'm as stretching. Thane of our city, Dragon. I'm taking this opportunity of him our yapping to stretch. Friends. We still have a city to defend. Yes, my lord. <sighs> Alright. Um, now that we're done with that, I want to take a small break. A quick save. I'll tap out of the game for a moment. Oh, it went quiet for me, but I see there's still audio, so um, I'll be right back.
I have returned. I back with my teeth. I got a cream soda. Ah! <laughs> no game jump scare. <laughs> Oops. There we go. Hold on. We're back. We're so back. I need to adjust myself a little bit. We're so back. <laughs> Meat. Yeah, I haven't even checked to see, like, what can I make? <laughs> It's a little sad that the soups look so unappetizing in this game. Yeah, most games make soup look very unappetizing. I really haven't seen any game that does soup nicely. Because liquids are- I'm pretty sure liquids are like really hard to, um... Make look good. Yeah, I need to, like, I need to stock up on, um, salt piles. <laughs> Those are required for a lot of recipes. I could go for some crab legs. You know, I had a, I had a, um... I had a soft shell crab for the first time a couple weeks ago. Or not even a couple weeks ago, I think it was last week. And, uh... I, whenever my food had arrived, I was not expecting an entire intact uh, fried crab. <laughs> like, I opened up my little to-go box and there was just an entire crab just battered and fried in my box and since crabs are kind of spider shaped it d definitely um caught me off guard i was like oh it was quite delicious but i wasn't expecting that it was a little jarring i think i'd prefer to have it in person though instead of um delivered because the place I ordered from, it would probably taste better in person. Treat. Ah, damn it. Conjuration, huh? Nice. Ooh, yes. That's always delicious. Sweet. There you go. Excuse me. Increase stamina. Mm. Speech doesn't really come into play as often as it probably should. Ooh, I should probably... I remember any time my dad would play this game, he'd always be like, Always level up your smithing. 
Always level up your smithing so you can make some really cool shit. So, I'm going to level up my smithing. And, uh, I think next level up will level up my enchanting and then my alchemy. Like, see what I mean by, like, there's so much you have to... You have to... level up and stuff. Me to be your house, Carl. It's an honor to serve you. I'm a thane? What does that mean? The Jarl has recognized you as a person of great importance in the hold. A hero. The title of thane is an honor. A gift for your service. Guards will know to look the other way if you tell them who you are. What does a house Carl do? As my thane, I'm sworn to your service. I'll guard you and all you own with my life. Farewell. I heard everyone on the internet thinks you're hot. I just find her to be a little bit annoying because I don't really like companions. Where's that guy? That one guy, where is he? Because I need to see... I need to see how... much... How much does a house cost? I would like to know. Where is this man? Dragons? Well, wherever he is, I can talk to him later. But I would like to have... the house. I'm pretty sure it's like 10,000 gold just for the base building, but like, then you gotta upgrade it, and that sucks, Speaking always. Nobody ever said home ownership was easy. Yeah, I've been thinking a lot about house ownership and stuff lately. Adult nonsense. Where is he? Where is this man? He tends to blend in with the environment. He's sleeping. Tell me, do you believe in mighty RK, god of life and death? Gods aren't a big part of my life. I see. Well, perhaps you'll take pity on a humble priest who has lost something precious. What did you lose? My amulet of RK. It's the source of my divine powers and also a sacred badge of office. I misplaced it in the catacombs. I'd look for it, but I have been hearing noises down there. I fear the dead have become restless. Without that amulet, I'm powerless to confront them. Would you be willing to search for it? I'll find your amulet. I'll just wait here and make sure nothing foul escapes the catacombs. Blessing of our aye, aye, boss. Go kill some skeletons. I'm pretty sure those are the only skeletons in here. So you'd need to go to maximize everything. Max to max out all of your stats.
I might look that up. Later. Just later. See how long it would take to max out everything. Hey, don't go back to sleep. Find your amulet. Oh, thank RK. Please. Don't thank RK. Thank me. I'm the one that found it. Come on. Walk always in the light in these days. Of oh my God! You found my precious religious artifact. Here's fifteen bucks for your troubles. Oh. <sighs> I feel so underappreciated. Uh, what else should I do? Ooh, I should... Where's the... There it is. Kinareth. The temple of Kinareth. Alright, hey! Welcome, child. Oh yeah, this temple. This is the temple of Kinareth. The Gildegreen outside was planted as a seedling in the early years of White Thrum. Disciples of Kinareth could sense something holy in it, and traveled far to hear the winds of the goddess in its branches. Of course, not as many pilgrims these days. Damn, that sucks. What's so special about this tree? To the east of here is a hidden grove where the Elder Gleam resides. It's the oldest living thing in Skyrim. Excuse me. Maybe all of Tamriel. Excuse me. Our tree here in the city was grown from a cutting of that tree. You can still feel the glory of the mother tree through it. Even its name is an echo. Is there any way to revive the tree? I've thought about that. Trees like this never really die. They only slumber. I think if we had some of the sap from the parent tree, we could wake up its child. But even if you could get to the Elder Gleam, you couldn't tap it. Not with any normal metal. Where is the tree? If you want to help, you'll need something to cut into it first. Yeah, but I'd like to, to know where it is. Ravens. I've heard about the weapon they've made for sacrificing Spriggans. It's called Nettlebane. The hags terrify me, or I would have gone after it myself. I'll get Nettlebane for your you. Your spirit is strong. Kinareth's winds will guide your path. It's held in a Hagraven nest called Orphan Rock. We are not going to do that for quite some time. That is a very difficult quest. I remember being a child and being like, I'll get your nettle vein, and then I'd go to Orphan Rock and get fireballed to death. I remember getting the shit scared out of me from it. It's late. I don't want to wait and, and, and visit the stores and stuff. Hmm. Is there anything worth making? Because food isn't super useful. Ooh. Looks kind of good, actually. The meats look tasty. The soups, not so much. Yeah, like, the cabbage soup does not look appetizing. And I like cooked cabbage. Cooked cabbage is yummy. Ooh. I think it will make any food. <clears throat> well, I might make some soups. That looks that the, those are some nice stats. Wow, that's actually better. There is a salt pile of potato and leek. Hey! I don't like that most of these items require a salt pile, and salt piles aren't always easy to find. <clears throat> Excuse me. Ah, hello, my Argonian friend. 
in the market for some hunting supplies. What have you got Take for sale? Look. You got any salt piles? That would be an ingredient though. Take that at least. Bonding brew. <laughs> bread and bread. Food's just not that valuable. Thank you very much for your business. Oh, hey, you're here. Are you married? You look the type. Make sure you treat your wife with the respect she deserves. I don't got no wife. Here you stand, talking to a married woman. Oh, Am I that wow. Interesting? Or perhaps You're married. You're so special. Feels like she's rubbing the fact in my face like, Oh, I'm married. Are you? No? Then you're not special. <laughs> like, <laughs> Jeez, okay. I'm looking for that one lady. But I guess she was the wrong lady. I'm not- I didn't feel like putting the quest on priority. But... I might! I don't know yet. Steel armor is cool. I like the way steel armor looks in this game. What do I need? I need firewood. But I don't have a... a I don't have a, a wood cutting axe right now. Can I make an axe? Please? I would really like one. I wish you could use like any axe, but it has to be a woodcutter's axe. Wait, I didn't mean to go off of there. Hold on. Every little bit helps. I need more leather. I need firewood too. Alright, yeah. Let's wait. Then we can then we can go and uh, get what we need. War maidens. Hi. Well, we've got small weapons as well as hmm, blades, helmets, pretty much anything to suit your needs. Do you have a woodcutter's axe? I would really like one, please. God damn, leather is so expensive. Pickaxe. 
I'll take that. Mm. You don't have a woodcutter's axe. Really? Not a single one? Damn. Am I, am I tracking off? I hope not. Okay, my phone isn't warm either. I wanted to check that because uh, I turned my brightness all the way down on my phone specifically so like my phone would last longer. It's like all the way down. Any furs? No. Good doing business with you. You don't have a single woodcutter's axe, really. What about you? Got some good pieces out here if you're looking to buy. What do you Take got for sale? You got different shit. No, you got the same stuff, I think. No, you don't. You got your own collection of stuff. Do you have what I am looking for? I would really like one. I can't have anything, no can I? Don't forget to check inside the shop if you need anything. Melter. Does smelting just not help with your smithing skills? That sucks. I don't claim to be the best blacksmith in White Run. Yorland Greymane's got that honor. Man's hey, you got what I need. Oh, I, I work for Bellathor at the General Goods Store. General Goods Store. What are you looking at? I'm not afraid of you. Shut up. Even if you are my elder. A bannered mare. Wait, this is an alchemy store. Ooh. Don't mind if I do. I'm just, I'm just walking around. Hi! You look rather pale. Could be ataxia. It's quite a problem back home in Cyrodiil. Really? I'm an Argonian. I'm a little bit immune to disease and stuff. So, you're interested in my potions and ingredients? Excuse me. These are expensive, actually, but I will take, like, one of each thing I haven't gotten yet. Already grabbed some death bell. You. You can take those. I don't need any of those right now. You can take all of my poisons. stuff. I think I can teach you a thing or two. Uh, I am too poor. What are you doing that for? 
what? Just walking. I just walking, man. Can't do shit here. Can't do shit in White Run. Saints and seducers. Oh. Interesting that they took the name of the guards of uh, the Shivering Isles. Yep. Left. We've got resist magic. Any potion you've put together. Come back anytime if you need a remedy. Okay. And what of my son? Hmm? What of poor old? Yeah, general goods. There we go. Now that's what Take we're looking look for. Around. I'm sure you'll find what you're looking for. Please, please, do you have a woodcutter's axe? I would greatly. <gasps> Ooh. You don't. You do have an amulet talus. Hell yeah. That's exactly what I was looking for. Oh, you have a mammoth tusk. I can get that later for another quest. Do come back. Why are you saying like that? What do you mean by that? Hi. I spend a lot of time at the market stall so I can learn the merchant's trade. I need more experience. Life's hard enough with all these men propositioning me. But that bard is the worst. No one giving you trouble. That bard Mikhail is begging for a dagger up against his throat, the way he goes on about me. I heard him boasting at the bannered mayor, saying he'll conquer me as a true Nord conquers any harsh beast. Huh. Sexism! What if I talk to Mikhail? If you want to try, go right ahead. I don't think anything will get through that thick skull of his, though. You get a lot of attention from men. You've got no idea. Half the men in White Run have proposed to me. Some were even single. They'll never understand. No amount of flowers or honeyed words are going to change my mind. Right now, all that matters is my daughter Mila. No man's going to get between me and my little girl. Remember, fresh fruit and vegetables every day. He sold her, was it? What brings you to the nice enough to have mm -hmm. a boring posting for a god? I suppose you don't need to worry about that. Well, then it could be a Owning a farm does have its own things. I ain't done nothing. Can you look at my quest? I think for now, we should head to the Greybeards. I actually like the main quest in Skyrim quite a bit because it opens up so much stuff. Because then, like, you get more shouts, then more dragons show up, and just all sorts of nice stuff. Also, just an easy way to level up. So I think for now our main focus is doing some 
of the main quest and then farting around for a while after that. This war is as stupid as our feud with Clan Grey Mane. Our walk to the Greybeards is gonna take a while. But you know what? That's fine. I actually wanna grab these two locations on this map. take a peep at the map just to get a better sense of direction yes. but I have a general understanding of where I should go there you go battle port and I'm assuming great wing Oh yeah, wheats. Wheats. <laughs> and I think this way will be a good way to go. I usually like Fast travel to Helgen and then go from there. I think maybe it'd be better to try this route. that till now. I'm a little nervous about going this way though. Because um, things get a little difficult out here. But you know what? I'll just deal with it. like to grab this location please pretty please I think these are necromancers up here Ritual stone. 
Why are you invisible? I'll take those arrows. Don't mind if I do. Juniper berries! I don't need this stone, but I just wanted to grab it. Excuse me. Just grab the location. I believe the pause marks stone storm cloak uh, camps. So many of you. Yeah. You don't scare me. That bridge over there, though, that kind of scares me. It's not a friendly location. Isn't that the location? Isn't that the Greybeard's location? Pretty sure it is. Didn't know I could see it from all the way down here. Storm Club Camp. Oi! You guys have a woodcutter's axe that I can have? Wonder if there's a barrow here. Maybe not. I guess not. Still neat. Grabbing a new location. Wonder what would happen if I did try to ascend the mountain from a different location. Because I know how I'm supposed to go there. Trust me, who doesn't? <laughs> who doesn't know how to get there? But like, what if I went a non-traditional way? Like, there's a there's a whole path here, and I wonder how how this goes. Well, I mean, the path is over, but like. There's stuff up here. There has to be. Yeah, that is the Greybeard's place. They're just straight up on another path? That'd be neat. This is no longer a path, it's just mountain. No path, only mountain. <laughs> I do think it's silly though. Like, look how close I am! Can you imagine just shrinking the journey by like 80%? Right there. 
That's just straight up the Greybeard's place. I don't know. I'm just trying to know. I'm just, I'm just messing around, seeing what works. Yeah, we probably can't do this. It'd be a bit silly. Well, it'll be easier to go around the mountain to the actual starting point from up here. At least I think it would be. Oh, my park goat? Jeez, look at this. Uh oh. Mm. Oh god. Ah! <laughs> Oops. <laughs> Our first death. <laughs> Sneep Snorp's ascent turned into Sneep Snorp's descent. Oh no! Oh! Shit! Damn! That sucks. We didn't lose that much progress, but like... I'm a little upset. That was a little sad. I should have just followed the path. I got- I got too cocky. I even knew I was gonna die and I still tried it anyway. I like the fishing. Oops. I forgot. Fishery. Oh, we can do that later. That'll be nice. Amy! Interesting that it's not, not spawning salmon. The difference is in terms of like flavor profile or something because like i'm pretty sure most salmon that we eat are like the non-spawning kind the big red ones <laughs> but like since salmon change so much biologically just to breed excuse me 
It makes me wonder, like, what do they taste like? Like, is there a difference in taste or no? I'm really curious. Excuse me. I wish you didn't have to equip the fish rod to fish, though. I think that's a little silly. Oh, it's a clay deposit. I'm not gonna bother dealing with that. Let me snatch this location. Let me up. Let me up. Let me up! I hear a guy. Oh! Oh! Owie! I missed. River watch. Oh, hi. You don't even know how to get to me. Oh, now you do. I missed! Oh, stunts try my patience. I know you're, I know my uncle has issues, but he's your watchman. You will respect him. No more sneaking in and out. No more games with his ledger or nails on his chair. But what joke can you see how funny a day in the cage could be? Mm -hmm. I do like that, like... They add stuff to the environments, like characters not getting along, even if it's just random bandits, they're just like... Like, Bjorb! Quit being an asshole! Like, I can just imagine. Like, that's pretty much exactly what that was. Hmm... No food. No food for us. Wait. Oh, it's not a thing. <gasps> you have steel arrows. Not enough, but something, I guess. looking for you said he'd be up at the summit better not keep him waiting I just leave the blind old man alone <gasps> so files First book. Oh. <laughs> Who did this to him? Who gave him a book? <laughs> Some developer must have been like, you know, it'd be funny. What if we gave the blind guy a book and put nothing in it? Like, wow. Bean. 
Now we need mushrooms. <gasps> yes. We always love a new ingredient. Ingredients. The fish are mean to me. Where are my caught fish? Where's my pog fish? Are they in my foods? They are in my foods. I have two, oh, I have two fireball scrolls. Enchant this pole? What? No, I didn't. It's just, it's just good. <laughs> it looks cool. Yeah, I wanted to check. Oh, that's gone now. Get some! How big face. The legendary sleep slurp. I know I heard something. Shit. Is someone there? Oops. Wrong button. Taking the diamond. That, you call that a fur helmet? A little disappointing. I think by far my favorite thing about uh, Skyrim in terms of like improvement gameplay wise was removing the weight of arrows. You just carry like a thousand arrows and it weighs nothing. Meanwhile in Oblivion you've got certain arrows that weigh like half a pound. Each. Each! That's insane! Peasant. Did I search you? I did. An explorer's guide to Skyrim. I got new locations. We'll scale mine. This is why we read books. We learn new shit. <gasps> My favorite. I love orcish items. I think they're great. I like, I like the designs. I think they look cool. Ooh. 
neat. All right, here we go. Nice. All right, back to business. play these? Hold on, I want to check. It'd be funny if they were in the weapons. Of course they wouldn't be, but like... Disappointing. You think it'd work? Of course not. Dogs I could train, but a half-starved wolf, not a chance. Right. Lucky if it doesn't rip our throats out. Fishing clothes. <laughs> Why did they put the portrait over here? Genius design. Oh, is that a woodcutter's axe? Half naked. Can't wait to count out your coin. Uh, nice try. You guys are basically in your own nowhere. I'm taking that. Ingredients. You know, I um, said I would probably upgrade enchanting first before upgrading uh, alchemy, but I'll probably upgrade alchemy before that because I've been doing more alchemy than enchanting. Enchanting is more of a long-term thing. I do love enchanting weapons, but I also don't have any... Um, Soul gems yet. I haven't found any. And they're expensive to purchase, so it'd be better to just find them all on my own. Besides, I usually find a bunch of them in a. Uh, um, in a, like, barrows and stuff. Can I get those without falling to my demise? I got one of them. Don't feel like trying for the other one. I love how even after all of the updates to this game, if you if you try to mine while sneaking, you'll be taken out of your sneaking state, but you'll still be technically in your sneaking state. It's like they 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 they, they haven't fixed that. <laughs> And I think it's silly. Oh, you just straight up know I'm here. Hi! You and your little lookout. It's actually pretty nice. Fun. Lovely little place. Ow! Right, right in my face! Damn. You're... Pretty good shot, actually. Please don't fall off! Ugh. There's so much blood in my face.
baked potatoes. No, I'll save that for later. Yummy. I can heal the rest of it. Iron hand gauntlets. Ooh. Yeah, I'm taking those. Have yours. Have yours, journal. Pickings have been good these past few weeks. Must be because of the war. Lots of merchants and cowards looking for somewhere to curl up and hide from all the fighting. I've told the men to ease the burden on these poor souls by relieving them of all that gold they're carrying. Guard patrols along the road are way up. We can barely set foot outside. Travelers must have complained to the Jarl. Looks like the guard isn't ready to move against us yet, but the pressure is getting to the men. I'm having Regier keep watch with Ulfur now. I should shut them up about our security. Damn that Balgruff. A mutiny! Among my men? I can hardly believe it. Thank the gods Ulfur heard of it in time. He may be blind, but he's not deaf. I killed Anyor myself. A couple of others ran for it, but we hunted them down quick enough. Only Asa and Rajir got away. Good riddance. There's a rumor of a dragon attack on Helgen. A dragon? Hardly. More likely just a story made up by some idiot frightened out of his wits by the war. In any case, the guards seem to have pulled back to the city. We've been able to run a few decent raids again. One of the merchants had some odd cargo. A bunch of pelts and animals, including a wolf. I let the men rest the other animals, but the wolf I saved. It'd be handy to have a guard dog like that. We could just train him a little. Well, we know how that went. <laughs> We taking those. Ooh. Take that as well. Many. Ooh. Wait, but that's pretty much the same as the weapon I just took. It does weigh less though. Hold on. Yeah, it's a burning thing again. I have this cross damage thing. I think that one I think that one battle axe was a was a was a frost thing. Mm, I can always sell them, so yeah, I'll take them. I'll take them. Ooh, it's so high up. But not really. Excuse me. I you probably drop down. Because I don't feel like going back through that place. Boring. This is more exciting. You know, I didn't even think about taking the cheese and stuff. Yeah. Beef. All right, let's go in and come back out just to fix our thing. <laughs> oh! Thank you, Ulfur! Thank you so much for the level up! Hell yeah! Um... I'm actually not sure if I do actually want to level that up. I might level up speech because we've been we've been shopping a lot. And now I can finally chop wood. Finally. 
Just a couple, like four. A couple of logs. And it will be good. Alright. No, 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 no. We're done. We can make more stuff. Hogfish! Let's cook some of our meats. Just so, like, they're not just sitting there. I have six rabbit legs? Dang. Oh, that's actually really good stats wise. Let's cook both of these. There we go. Food. Who doesn't like food? We love to eat. We love food. Good stuff. Good stuff. I might actually go back to White Run just to sell some of my things. But, um. Are you a bandit? Or are you just a guy? Or are you a something else? Hold on. Hi? Yes? Hello? I'm collecting ingredients to bring to the gourmet. He'll think my taste so refined when I offer them to him. You have heard of the gourmet? Never heard of him. You've not heard of the gourmet? Author of Uncommon Taste? He is a wizard with a spatula. Well, not an actual wizard, but his recipes are legendary. You know, I've heard the gourmet is in Skyrim right now. The gourmet? Why are you just randomly out here? Also, um, I don't know the name of that voice actor, but he's one of my favorite voice actors in games. I don't hear him very often, but when I do, I'm like, oh, it's that guy. I wish I remembered his name. I feel so bad about it. Come here, you piece of shit. Dirty. The archery's level 30. Stop falling! Please! You're only supposed to do that in oblivion! Just go up the way I went last time. Let's go up the other way. Sneak up on that guy. Oh, never mind. Oh, you're not a guy this time. You're a lady. Congrats on the transition. That was shockingly fast. Hey, that's convenient. I'll take those. And I shall take my leave.
Jeez. Well, whatever it is, we probably shouldn't go. I'm not gonna grab the Stormcloak camp this time. We're just gonna keep going forward. Because otherwise, I'll probably just make a fool out of myself again. I wonder what that is, though. Give me your skin. You've lost your skin privileges. I, I instinctively tried to zoom in. It did not work. It's a giant's camp, that's what it is. There's a barrow nearby though. Ooh. Where? Must be further up. I do know that we need to go to Everstead. It's like the starting point. We are approaching, we are approaching it, and that might actually be the barrow that's next to Everstead. I don't think it is, but it might be. There's a chance. Valtheim Towers. I am not here to cause problems. I am just passing by. Please don't pay me any mind. <laughs> More bandits or no? You a bandit? You are a bandit. I know what you are. I am missed. You are a bandit, but you literally don't give a shit about me. <laughs> That's kind of nice. I'll take those. Don't mind if I do. There's a lot of- there's a lot of giants camps around. I'll be taking this.
It's so funny every time my phone loses my face for tracking. Oh! Loader. <laughs> no, it's harder to see you when you do that. Ow. At least my light armor increases. That's always nice. What an asshole. Man, this game is so pretty. My favorite thing about being able to see like rays of light in any sort of environment like this is that it's a super strong indicator of a high humidity. And since uh, Skyrim has swamps as well, then like it's pretty obvious that pretty much the entire um, country has like a higher humidity. I think it's really cool. What am I sneaking past? You? You don't look bad. Yeah, you're not bad. Maik! Get away from me. Maik wishes you well. Hi, Maik! It does not matter to Maik how strong or smart one is. It only matters what one can do. It's so good to see you, buddy. It's been 200 the years. Gone. They were just invisible and very, very quiet. Oh, man. It was nice seeing him again. Mike! It's up here. I want to go up here. That's a Luna Moth. It's like, that better not be a... That better not be a Nurnroot up there. That isn't. <laughs> it's a Luna Moth. Now, what's in here? Pilgrim's Tomb. Oh, hi! Why? Oh! Whoa! 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 I didn't... <laughs> you have a name, are you... You look like a bandit! here. What are the gold deer? Well, gold deer, I'm impressed. I know what trouble you Nords have with literacy. Those big words must put such a strain on your tiny brains. And I'm surprised you could smell anything of the stink of your <laughs> anything of the stink of your own filth. Why don't you meet me at Hilgren's tomb and I'll show you the way we deal with the ancestors in Morrowind. Falls around. Wait, are pages? Oh, whoopsie. Hold on. There aren't pages. Note from Agna. Golder, don't be such a milk drinker. I know you've been scared of Hilgren's tomb since your brother locked you in there when you were children, but we can't let Valsferan get away with this. Hilgrind and our other ancestors Hilgrind and our other ancestors need us to protect their remains. 
and I'm going in with or without you. I'm sure one dark elf is, n elf is nothing to worry about, but if something should happen, don't forget to check the secret passage in case he barricaded himself in the deeper chambers. There's a secret passage. Can I equip my amulet of Talos, or did I forget to do that? I did forget to do that. Oopsie. Excuse me? Okay. All right. <laughs> Can't be the only book. Hold on, there's a specific button. How can I grab things? Hold on. I want to snatch that thing and move it. Or I could do that. <laughs> but a bunch of stuff just clipped in, so that was not helpful. <laughs> anyway, let's go. Let's see what's in this place. I hear feet. Oh, is my thing delayed? Hold on. My battery is good, so I don't know why that was delayed. It was weird. No berries. Hmm. <sighs> and that's stupid. I can see. I can see traps. Wait, hold on a moment. That drunker looks really small. That drunker is really small. Look how tiny they are. Are those supposed to be children? I hope not. It would kind of suck. Is this place gonna be full of tramps? Hmm. There a trap on this one too. <laughs> oh, I forgot I can cancel those. Muscle memory man. Why is there so much wine in here? There's a mead barrel too. There's so much wine in here, oh my goodness. Environmental storytelling at its finest. Ooh. 
Yeah, sure, I'll we'll take that. I'll take it! <laughs> yeah! Is that a single... A single slaughterfish steak? It is! It's seared slaughterfish. And there's salmons! And garlics! Why is there so much tasty food in here? Agna, uh oh. Well, you shall be reunited in Sovngarde with your friend. I've never actually been here before. This is interesting. Well, uh, that's a whole path. I want to check this first. Oh. Oh. Oh shit, I woke him up. He was napping so good, and then I woke him up. I actually wasn't entirely sure. I'm not even gonna lie. Dang, I forgot how cool the Warhammers look. Those, those are some of my favorite um, weapons in this game. I just freaking love the Warhammers. I think they look so cool. Hi. Oh. Man, they all woke up one after the other. <laughs> they were just like, this guy has got to go. I didn't mean to take that. Well, I guess that guy was just like, man, I'll sleep in, whatever. Doesn't matter to me. Not one bit. I need to run out of room. Once you run into one door with a with a trap on it, you just kind of you just kind of get suspicious of everything. Man.
their heads are just sticking out. So weird. I know they're supposed to be dead, but since some of them like to come back from, from beyond the grave, that can't be good for their necks. Stamina. Owie. Oh, man. Oh! Hold on, it hasn't fully seen me yet, even though I shot it once. Hi! Hello, Dad. Are you alive or no? <laughs> no, you're not. <laughs> I wasn't expecting that. Where did he go? They're everywhere. Why did you run? What is your deal? Alright, whatever. I hate it when that happens. Keep forgetting. That's the button. There we go. Let us see. Let us see. So much junk. I know, right? I'm saving a bunch of enchanted items to break them down for their spells. What's this all about? Oh! Okay, I see. We got moth. Dragon. And something else, probably. Oh. Oh. Oh, jeez. Okay. Ah, neat. Okay, I see. Like, if you stand in a certain spot, you can see all of them. So, yeah, it's like fox, wolf, owl, bear, dragon. Oh, and there's also the moth over there. Wait. Where do I put all this? Oh, and there's a snake, too! What the heck? I've never been in this barrow. But there's so much. I 
And there's there's a yeah, there's a bear. There's a bunch of stuff. Oh, there's little chains on them. There's chains on the singular one. Hold on. Oh. <laughs> okay. That's it, I guess. Oh, good morning. Owie. Let us see, let us see. Hold on, what's up with this tiny door first? There we go. Ah, stuff! I know it's coming out of those. I hate ice magic so much. It's so obnoxious. Sure, I didn't mean to take that, but whatever. Why are you running? Why are you running? I was with these guys and running away. <laughs> nice try, buddy. You're the bastard that's causing all these problems. Oh jeez. Oh. Hi. Oh jeez. Owie. Whoa. Stop it. You're so annoying. Quit punching me. Fuck off. Jeez. Oh! Oopsie. Youch! Where did he go? Uh oh. You're an overlord. Uh oh. Oh, 
You know, leave me alone, man. Oh, he was about to shout at me. Oh, no. Uh-oh. this very much. Oh jeez. I don't know what else that did, but we're about to see, I guess. It didn't help very much. My goodness okay i know that guy's over there but like oh my goodness <laughs> oh hi oh hi oh So these guys are running around like goofballs. <gasps> Yay! I'm level I'm level nine now. Oh boy. Uh, sure, I'll poison my bow. Whatever. It's fine. Where did he go? My health! Yeah. Oh. Ooh, my health again. Jeez. Uh, I'm just trying to live here, man. This is not fair. I'm to pull out all, all my food. This is what we save all the food for. Situations just like this. You're a pain in the ass, man. Oh, no, no, no! Man. I'm a little sad that I have to eat, like, most of my food, but hey, it is what it is. You. you don't get to yield. You're an asshole. And, and you made me eat like all of my food. I was saving that for later. Goodness, that guy was awful. Taking all your monies. All your hard-earned septums. Diamond! 
Nice. More stuff. More stuff for me. I can deconstruct that. Ah, there we go. Nice. Freedom! I'm free! Oh man, that took forever. Well, that's that. You're still here. Hello, Maik. Maik is tired now. Go bother somebody else. <laughs> All right, Maik. Once we get to to Iverstead, or is it Iverstead? I can't remember. Once we get there, the, like I think we'll call it a day. That was fun traveling through that little barrow, finding all that loot. We found a diamond. something following me but I wasn't sure what it was. I could hear it. I think we're almost there. Oh I leveled up! I forgot to do that. Phone's dying. Mm. Is that really, what I want to increase, because like increasing um, archery would be very nice. I like I like being able to zoom. It's nice. There's people. Party? Hail, friend. It's good to see another merry soul enjoying this fine day. Hmm. Ah, but you look tired. Come, share a bottle of hunting brew mead with me. Hunting brew mead? You've never had a taste of sweet hunting brew? Why, it's only the finest mead outside of Sovngarde. Its sweetness is like a fair maiden's kiss on a starry night. And it's got enough kick to put a frost troll on his hind quarters. <laughs> but enough talk. Come, won't you share a drink with me and my companions? Hmm. Sure. I would love to share a drink with you, friend. Ah, uh, nothing like fine spirits to help raise your... Well, your spirits. Cheers, my friend. May your adventures find you fame and fortune. Yippee! Oh, <laughs> they're just leaving. Cool. I never encountered these guys before. That was neat. 
Yeah, it's really interesting. And which way is Everstead? It's that way. What's down here? There's a whole house here. I want to see what's up. Darkwater Crossing. And there's a stone over here, too. Oh, what is music for? Literally, just a little farm. Hi! I've never seen you around here before. Are you a miner, too? Hi. Do I have any ingots to make? I do. Nice. Ooh. Hot springs. I think one of my fa- oop. I think one of my favorite things that I've learned- Whoa! Hi! Well, I guess I can't share my little fun fact about hot springs! Oh my goodness, I am dying! You guys are mean! I'm not a Nord! Leave me alone! Fuck off! I'll show you what a real Lord can do. Leave me alone! That's what you get! You didn't leave me alone. Fun fact. Oh, God. My little fun fact about, um, <laughs> about hot springs is that some of them have these, like, super acidic pools in them where, um, like, if you know anything about, like, Yellowstone, you might hear of a story about some guy who fell in. And, like, not even an hour later, there was nothing left except for, like, maybe his wallet because it was made of leather. Like, there's some seriously strong acidic, uh, stuff. Got something I'm supposed to deliver. Your I just can't tell my fact, though, can I? I'm just not allowed to have that. Ah, a letter from the Jarl. Moving up in the world, eh? Looks like that's it. Got to go. <sighs> right, alright. Yeah, let's see. What's this dude gotta say to me now? Oh. All crease. Sneep Snorp the Fifth. Allow me to introduce myself. My name is Sidier, and I have the honor to be the Jarl of the proud and ancient city of Falkreath. The fame of your exploits across Skyrim have, has brought you to my attention. If you are interested in becoming a Thane of Falkreath, old, I didn't see that word, <laughs> I invite you to speak to me the next time you are in Falkreath. Aside from the honor that accrues to, this to the title, my Thanes are entitled to a personal house carl. I, can, I also can tell you privately that a choice parcel of land in Falkreath would be available for you to purchase should your services prove useful to me. I look forward to meeting you in person. I remain Jarl Sidgir of Falkreath. I do not care. You interrupted my my hot springs fact. So now I don't like you. Nope. Sorry. Nothing. I wasn't talking to you. 
But yeah, there are like these really acidic pools in certain like hot spring regions and like they're very easy to notice because of their colorful their colorful appearance and uh yeah you lose anything in that and it, that thing doesn't exist anymore <laughs> like if you like for example if like oh god hi god damn I just can't have anything nice now, can I? <laughs> Get away from me! Angry cats! Oh my goodness! Where are my blue mountain flowers? Where are my blue mountain flowers? Oh my god! I just can't have anything, you know, can I? Like, this is awful. Oh! Damn. I got killed. <gasps> is this gonna pull me way back? Oh, no. I forgot to level up. Shit. Wait, I did level up, but I died. Damn it. Anyway, let me quick save. But apparently, I can't have nice things. Can't even tell a fun fact without getting interrupted. This is bullshit. This is awful. Hello, Mike. Where then? Let's see. That was so mean. I don't even know how far I actually went. I don't think I actually traveled that far. Am I gonna meet the mead guys again? Or is that a one-time thing? Because that was nice. I want to meet the mead fellows. Oh, they noticed me this time. Whee! Boom. Nice. Oh. Ah. You. You bastard. You're not. You're not the mean bros. You're just a jerk. You're so mean. Shut up. What? <sighs> Nobody's nice to me out here. I miss the mead bros. Those, those guys were nice. I miss them.
I've been looking for you. Yeah, 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 Maybe have summoned the Dragonborn to High Rothgar. Such a thing has not happened for hundreds of years. Hold on. They have a little mine in here. I want to see if they have a forge because I would like that very much. Have I been here before? It's corundum all over the place. I'll take it. I'll take some. Just a little. Not all of it. I don't have the room for all of it. Do you guys have a forge? <coughs> Excuse me. I don't think they have a forge. Uh, it's just a little little hole in the wall, literally. Little bodice divide. <sighs> hey, a little bit of corundum is nice. That's all we need. Looks like it's just some little fit. Oh? Oh? It's just some little family, but... Mm, I wonder what that's about. Strange. Strange! So strange. Oh, I see the cat up there this time. I see you, you piece of shit! You killed me! We're not gonna die this time. No way. Not on my watch. <laughs> Wait, what am I doing? Why are you not dying? Die! Why does your hitbox become stupid? Thank you, jeez. That sucked. <laughs> Alright, there you are. I'll be taking those. Man! being a little silly. We should almost be at Inverse Dead. I feel like we're fairly close. We have to be getting there soon. After all this hard work, how could we not? 
The sunbeams, they're so pretty. And you know what? I've learned my lesson. I'm going to quick save. I'm going to quick save again. <laughs> Excuse me. Ah, oh, that's so pleasant. It's morning time. Good morning. It's so nice and lovely. Oh no. Yeah, no thanks. Oh, what did I get? Also, I thought you were dead. <laughs> What's with Bane? Hey! 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 Get back here! What did you give me? With Bane. Oh. Oh, that means nothing to me. <laughs> but next time I find a little shrine, I'm definitely gonna be touching it. And good thing I saved. Because that would have sucked. Skewers. There's sound bug down or something. Killed with fox. Your pelt will not be wasted, I promise. You know, it's in it's interesting how running from White Run, not to mention in a different direction than the direction I usually choose, very much um, feels like feels like a real pilgrimage. Really interesting. I think tomorrow will be nice, too. You You're right? looking a little rough around the edges. You feeling all right? Are you seriously going to tell me that right now? Are they gone? Are you okay? Bandits attacked and ransacked my cart. Can you help me? <laughs> That's such a mean thing to say. <laughs> you couldn't afford my time. Now, what can I do? My camp is nearby in the ruins of Nilheim. Get me there safely, and you'll be rewarded. <sighs> Jeez. Wait, don't oh, just start running. Uh, it's I mean, just across the bridge and up that hill. I mean, it's right there, yeah, but like... I don't know if that's a good idea, man. I was kind of gonna pause for a moment because I gotta pee, but like... I can see the camp. 
but okay. Wait here. I'll be right back with your reward. Okay. Now ain't this a surprise? I should have known you, uh. asshole! You liar! There's so many of them. I should have known. I should have known. I should have known. They tricked me. Oh. Ah. Where am I? I fell. I didn't mean to fall. Come here. Ouch. Shove a bunch of flowers in my mouth. Oh. Hold on, where's my soup? I need my soup. That'll be nice. These guys are assholes. I was trying to be polite, and you decided to be a dickhead. <laughs> oh. oh! Your arrows do a lot of damage. At least the fish is nice. Suck. All right, there's one more guy. All right, where are you? Where are you? You're up there somewhere. Oh, let me steal these weird slaughter fish. I guess you lost sight of me. These guys suck. Hmm. I'm gonna ransack all their shit. What they get. I deserve the rewards. Me! He must be up in the tower. Oh, <gasps> there it is! There's Everstead! I knew we were close. You were sleeping. Ow. 
gotcha. Nice try. But it ain't gonna work on me. This experience has shown me that I am a little bit weak. <laughs> I'm still a little weak. But you know what? We got some good stuff out of that, so it's whatever. It is what it is. And it's whatevs. some free arrows. <laughs> Pretending to be injured just to trick me. How mean. Honestly, I'd take that over that bear cave. That's in the other path that I usually take. Bear cave sucks. Cause like you go you go to you like pass by bear cave and then you got like two bears that are hunting you down for your blood. I'm taking all your nerd roots. Yeah, whatever. I'm taking your nerd root. You guys can argue all you want, but those are mine now. Just imagine some guy showing up. And you're just like... Oh, hi. You're, you, you're having like a little spat. And they just come in, they're just like, Ooh, Nern Root! And take all of your crops. That's the Sneep Snurp guaranteed experience. I don't care. Leave me alone. I don't have time for this foolishness. Now come along quietly and we won't have to get rough. Brother, <laughs> I think she's telling the truth. I'm not going anywhere. Now back off before I do something drastic. She doesn't have the scar. What? Oh, you're right. We've made a mistake. I think now, I hear a nerd root. That mouth of yours gets you into trouble. Next time you're looking to pester someone, make sure it's the right person. I hear it. Not this side. It's the other side. Are you feeling sick? Shut up! Don't judge me. Word. Gourds! Just random gourds. Oh! Gotcha. And there's... Oh, there's two of them. There's always more than one. one. Have at you! I just can't have a peaceful walk, ever. No, can I? <laughs> you look like a necromancer. No, oh, but you're just some random guy. 
I'm on a pilgrimage to the Shrine of Azura, the Goddess of Twilight, if you'll excuse me. Where is this shrine? In the mountains to the northeast. I'll mark it on your map. Oh, thank you. Oh, hi. What's a milk drinker like you doing out here? Go home to your mother. Shouldn't talk to me like that. Why? What are you gonna do? Cry? Back off. Now! I don't have to take that from you. Never should have come here. I'm getting out of here. You weak fool. I just wanted to have a conversation. You just had to be an asshole, and this is what you get. Good night, random man that decided to have beef with me for no reason. Oh, spider. Whoa. Gotcha. There's Everstead. We're almost there. Oh, isn't this the bear cave that I was literally just talking about? I don't feel like dealing with bear cave, so I'm gonna try to avoid it. I hate bear cave. And yeah, that's bear cave, certainly. 100%. I don't like bear cave. Please tell me you have at least an at least a little alchemy thing. Pardon me, my lord. Would you care to hear me play my lute? You don't have the things thing. That's fine. It is what it is. I used to be an adventurer like you. Then I took an arrow in the knee. Oh my god, it's the quote that everybody knows. It's about time we got that. Anyway. <laughs> um... <laughs> <laughs> That's all for today. I stream for five hours. I very rarely stream that long. Ugh. Well, <laughs> it was fun. It was nice. Um, I love this game. I love this silly little game. Most people like this silly little game. I mean, come on. It's Skyrim. It's fun. It's great. Um, But I hope you continue this. I hope that this long form game lasts like forever because Skyrim is very large and it's already taken us quite some time to get to where we're at now. Um, so anyway, thank you so much for visiting. I hope you have a great day and as always, farewell.